a this isn't really off topic it's in my name of course you want to know i mean like i make videos about being autistic so that takes out the autistic part but the demi girl i haven't really talked about why i am a demi girl um and what that came to be so i really appreciate this question a lot i never actually fully felt like like a girl or feminine or things like that and like i would say about like Two, three years ago, I started like doing more research into like being non-binary and I came across um, demi, demi people, demi girl, demi boy. Um, and I started looking up demi girl and it really like identified with me because of the fact of how I felt. Since I was little, I was considered a tomboy. I didn't really understand the feminine social norms. Um, I didn't really fit in with girls. Like, I had my little group, but, like, that was it. I didn't really, like, understand the other girls. Um, I didn't dress the same way as them. I didn't, like, play with the same toys. I hung out with more, um, boys and stuff, too. So, like, the thing was is that I didn't ever feel masculine masculine it was always been this gray area where it was just like okay well why can't i be neutral why can't i wear boy clothes and wear girl clothes um and i am like that's how i figured it out and then when it comes to my pronouns i go by they her um just because i don't really like the word she <laughs> i don't really like the word ma'am i don't really like being called masculine names but I will accept daddy. <laughs> but I started putting they, um, they, her because of the fact that people are so used to, because I'm female, so female presenting in some ways, um, that, you know, they, they want to call. <laughs> it's just, I'm sorry, I'm still laughing about me calling myself daddy. Um, but it's because people always want to call you what you most, what they feel like you most identify with. And sometimes they're right and other times they're wrong. So by saying they, her, it really helps. And I put that in front because if I say she, um, if I say her, they, you know, they'll go with her because it's easier and they're used to that. So it's all a process. It's all a learning process. Even for myself, I'm more leaning more towards being wanting to be called um being my pronouns being they them just because i'm really going more into this gray but i do have female presenting traits but it's all the spectrum and it really all depends on the day and like it's just so many factors to it but i i really hope i really hope that this helped and i'll talk to you later bye all right well it's really nice to meet you brian ah uh, it's actually ryan oh ryan With you in a way I can't believe When you wipe your tears Do you wipe them just for me? Demi Girl is a gender identity under the non-binary umbrella. It's where someone feels partly like a girl but not wholly. Someone could feel partly a girl and partly a gender, for example, but there are many other options. While she they is common, demi girls can use any pronouns. <laughs> Breaking into your heart like that Ooh. Cool shit
Creative Ways to Come Out Part 21, Demi Girl Edition. Hey, you know how Czechoslovakia doesn't exist anymore? When the hell did that happen? Like 1993? Oh, okay. Does that mean people from Prague are called Czech Republicans now? No, you can still call them Czech people. It's just important that you know that there's actually a difference. Huh, what an unexpected geopolitical lesson I received. Yeah, totally. Hey, speaking of things that have changed inherently, but you can still call them what they used to be called, with the pink from the rainbow closet forgot to show you these are the colors we're working with gray 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 all i have are these lovely sparkly gray pants they're like trouser pants but partyfied sparkle for the white just a white purse and for more gray slash silver maybe just some silver jewelry got my silver spoon ring always and then this little fun one and these little necklaces so many pink shoes to pick from i like these i even put on my silver wedding ring well i've got a new petition for you to sign and it is to get more silver slash gray in my rainbow closet give me your rating on this pride outfit and let me know what pride flag we're styling next If you've gone your entire life without questioning your gender, like not even once, that just means you're playing on easy mode, baby. True gamers like me can't relate. I remember you, baby, we built this house on memories. Take my picture now, shake it till you see it. be right this is an amethyst except an amethyst is big and strong this one is not the best example something is clearly wrong Joyce and love yourself today cause baby you were born this no way no
I have a better plan. I'll marry a wealthy man. Wouldn't that make you gay? Not necessarily. Lay. That would be okay. What? I'll sleep in a separate bed, and I'll refrain from giving kisses. We'll be happy for a while. I'll try to comply to his style and keep his mansion clean. Then I'll kill him and inherit his. I wish I were a boy. Not all the time, just sometimes. I wish I could put on eyeliner and glitter and actually look good and have girls whisper about me in bookshops. Nobody, 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 nobody. Yes, I have made she, her, demigirl pins. Available on my Etsy. Your first queer breakup is gonna be the most agonizing breakup you ever go through in your life. Like, I'm sorry, if y'all are still happy together, look out, cause, cause this one's a doozy. And it's funny that gay people just kind of all know this. Like, we all know that your first queer breakup is gonna be literally somebody reaching inside of you and pulling your entrails out. When I tell you I was devastated that was the breakup that got young dyke me to cut all my hair off for the first time that was it that was the big chop like imagine young teenage me in that like pixie cut with the bang that they gave all of us in the mid 2010s yeah just like scream singing and crying to emo music i was i was fucked up we reconnected as friends like years later but like that's max that i would like scope out their new boyfriends because that's bestie and i will kill for them i won't do that but that's bad uh if you're going through your first queer breakup you're gonna be okay. Find some comfort in knowing that it's probably never gonna hurt this bad again. If you have a friend going through their first queer breakup right now, cut them some slack. They're gonna be okay. It, it's just like this. <laughs>